Hello, welcome to Hikate's Crossing. Okay, I'm Paula, by the way, for those that don't know. So welcome, welcome. If this is the first time you've been there, welcome back. If you, if you are a returning subscriber, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Make sure you ring that bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Okay, Mindful Tarot by Mindful Tarot on YouTube. So you can find... Esther, Lisa, Lisa or Esther as she calls herself, um, you can find her on Mindful Tarot, excellent, excellent channel if you're wanting to sort of um, reflect on tarot, learn a lot about tarot, very, very knowledgeable in regards to tarot, okay, and cartomancy in general, okay, so what I want to do is just take a moment to sort of take a breath and have a look at one card from Lisa's book or Esther's book, Mindful Tarot's book. Um, now, the images here that she's got is the Universal Tarot, but I'm just going to use the Rider Waite Smith um, Tarot deck here. So let's have a look. What? what um, card are we going to reflect on today now it can be any card so the first card oh interesting the devil okay the devil to me is very much about addictions repeated patterns maybe you're stuck or stagnant you're chained to a situation in some way it could be about an abusive partner can be um, a sense of there is that that sort of sexual energy maybe that's addictive you know, you're addicted to that sexual energy, um, with, you know, with the partners here being chained to the situation. Um, there's so much that can, the layers to this card. And of course, if you want to know more, lay out a few more cards. But let's have a look at the guidebook, just to have a look and see what Lisa says about the devil. I love this. I love what she, it just gives you something to sort of reflect on, to think about. In some way so let's have a look here now the devil now she's put in fetid interesting um, in fetid interesting title there um, keyword what is freedom okay have a she asked some questions what is freedom what does it mean for me to feel free what is liberation ask yourself those questions what is freedom what does it mean for me to feel free and what is liberation okay mindful tarot uh, follows a very buddhist path so she says we buddhists talk about saving and liberating all beings we talk about buddhism as a path of liberation but instead i often find myself inhabiting a ten of wands universe picture the figure laden with her burden so let's do the te let's pull out the ten of wands for a minute as she's talking about it <coughs> sorry excuse me so let's have a look at the ten of wands to begin with it's what i love about this it really gets you thinking reflecting um about the card this is an excellent book to have in your library in your tarot library it's great when you're learning tarot you want another perspective I think it's just an excellent um, uh, book here okay ten of wands is what she, what she was mindful tarot is talking about right so she says here picture the figure laden with her burden of staffs her burden of tasks as we'll see when we consider the suit of wands, it's all too easy to throw out fire energies forward. With the velocity of the chariot, so let's have a look at the chariot now. So I love this. Okay, so let's pull out the chariot. It makes you sort of stop and have a look, have a think. You can really get to know some of the cards in the process here so here's the chariot okay 
So, with the ferocity of the chariot, I got inspired and drive forth. And then somewhere down the lane, I find myself with a burden on my back. My burden is actually just the world I've created by throwing my energy into play. I create my life with each response to the world and then discover that my life no longer feels like it's mine. Somehow my life passed me by. How do we lead a life of freedom? That's the fundamental question of the devil card. The Rider Waite Smith imagery invites us to read the devil as an inversion of the lovers. Okay, so let's have a look at the lovers card now. Lovers. Okay, so let's look at the lovers. the lovers okay okay the Waitsmith imagery invites us to read the devil as an inversion of the lovers card the lovers card depicts our culture's iconic moments of choice Adam choosing the flesh over the word of God in the tarot that choice aligns us body heart and mind with the divine Eve gazes up towards the heavens while a beneficent angel gazes down, arms outstretched to, to embrace the whole of our worldly and sensuous existence. The devil card seems to replay the very same moment from the standpoint of shadow and nightmare. Eve gazes down, Adam looks away, and what might have been a choice and freedom is now simply bondage. Instead of an angel satisfying our earthly desires, the devil has put us in chains. We already know that the tarot, like us, thinks in duelties. The deck repeatedly shows us two sides of the same coin and invites us to find wholeness and integration. When the devil appears in our readings, we'll want to look very closely at the stories we're telling ourselves. Do we feel overwhelmed? Trapped, addicted, helpless. Perhaps we simply feed a bit meh about life and we're meandering dull-eyed and indifferent through our days. The devil card asks us to consider our choices and to consider what hinders us from experiencing the vibrancy and spontaneity of an unfitted life. That life is already ours if we could only reclaim it. There's a story I often tell my mindfulness students. A farm girl's one chore every night is to make sure that the cows will get back into the barn. Over time, she notices that the cows invariably take the same circuitous way back home. Try as she might to whistle and corral them into a more direct path, they seem shackled to the same nonsensical route. She finally learns that the herd developed the path years before to get around obstacles like the rusting old truck in the middle of the field, the huge drainage ditch in a place where firewood had been stacked. This behaviour had persisted, repeated by generation after generation of cow. Even after all the obstacles disappeared or were removed, we all have cow paths in our lives, patterns of behaviour that developed in a very in a very sensible ways in response to obstacles and circumstances of our lives. But now these paths may feel more like ruts. They take us further and further away from our true home. What once helped us cope now merely in fetters. How do we reclaim the freshness and vigour of our lives? The lover's card invited us to imagine self-acceptance. The devil card invites us to engage in self-inquiry. Time to look around, to investigate the terrain that even now is underfoot, to honour the past choices that have landed us on, our, on this path. Decisions we were made at one time. Brilliant, our cow paths were the only routes that could would avail, but now the present beckons. Let's blaze forward in real time. So interesting when you look at it there. So here, when you look at all these cards together, I get a really strong message of it feels like we've been burdened. We're weighing ourselves down, which caused us to feel stuck. And it, and we want success in our life, right? But it all comes down to choices that have yet to be made. So kind of interesting there when you look at it, when you look at the devil and pull out these cards that um, Mindful Tarot spoke about in regards to 
the repeated patterns, the things that weigh us down, that keep us chained to the past, the direction that we're moving into, the drive, the uncharted drive towards success comes down to choices in how we're tempted in some way. You know, temptation causes us to be stuck in the past or stuck in this moment that seems to be unable to push forward on. So interesting there. So just something to sort of reflect on, to think about, and I really recommend adding this book to your library. I mean, yeah, I've gone through some cards and I've sort of had a look at this book in different at different times throughout my channel, but I really recommend it, adding it to your library. So that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. Take care and blessed be. Thank you.